Hey my loves, welcome back. This week I wanted to lean into the topic focus and how to deal with ADHD, how to be more productive. So I thought I can share some tips on that based on my experience and while preparing this video. I also got a little help from the book Hyperfocus by Chris Bailey. It really made me deep down into it. It taught me types of focus, principles around the same focus. So I'm glad I stumbled upon this book if you're interested i will link it down below now as an introduction let me start by giving some basic info so you can hopefully manage your attention better in my humble opinion, there are two types of focus. Deep focus, aka flow state, and light focus. Deep focus is used for complicated tasks that requires high brain function and capacity, therefore almost fills your whole attention span, whereas light focus is used for, I don't want to say multitasking, because I don't mean working on a couple of projects and studies at the same time, but several things you do simultaneously, for instance, walk Talking, talking with your friend, breathing, and looking at sky, all at once, which fills most of your attention span. One is not better than the other, so they're all great and necessary individually when it comes to being productive. Here, the skill of knowing which type of focus you need to be in for each task is what's actually important and will be beneficial for you. You can't be in deep focus all the time or stay in light focus. You need to learn how to switch between these two. Don't worry, I will talk more about them in the video since we are done with our quick class. Let's get started with some practical tips on how to be more focused. Pre-control the environment. One of the most clever and main things you can do to get yourself to focus is to take precautions for distractions. Basically, control your environment before it controls you, because once you lost that control, it's hard and time-consuming to get it back. Let home members know that you don't want to be interrupted, close your door, mute notifications, put your phone to the other room, set the tone, put on your airpods, play some chill music, make coffee. I would suggest coffee since it's scientifically proven that it increases focus. Make a list of what distracts you during work, socializing or me time and try to remove them as much as possible from your site during this session. By the way, please be aware that you won't need to do this to get things done in light focus. These are just some preparation steps for deep focus. Start with an intention. The second step for a productive session is deciding how long you want to be focused for. Have a goal. You can either say I will stay fully focused until this task is done or I will work on this project for two hours straight. You want to be present, efficient, make the most of that time and you don't let anything distract you from that. I always do this for my editing tasks and and I can't even realize how time just flew by because I literally glue myself to my chair and, and tell myself that I won't go anywhere or do anything else till the editing is done. Note distractions. Doesn't matter how much precautions you take, you'll have maybe not external but internal distractions such as random thoughts, which happens to me very often. For example, I sit down to play my video or write my script and I think about what I'm gonna do tomorrow, if the mail I've been waiting for just came or should I check if the laundry is done, etc, etc. So if anything random comes to your mind like this, just jot it down somewhere this is the way i do i can always come back to it later mostly they're not an emergency it's just my lazy mind that refuses to work refuses to focus so don't fall for it if you try to ignore you choose to keep it in your mind and all of these little things consume a bit of your attention span which will make focusing harder for you i know some of you guys have adhd struggling with staying focused 
focused in getting things done, your attention span is more narrow than the average and that's why you should be really careful when you let something to get into your attention. Also know that we all struggle with it, it's not about you and it's not your fault because this focus problem is unfortunately a disadvantage of having technology all around us and we live in a world of distractions. In fact, human being has never been this busy and full throughout the whole history. Calculate your attention span. Know what you can take into your focus. This will vary for every person. I personally can read a book while I listen to music with the lyrics. Some people can't. I can focus on studying with my friend by my side. Some people can. It's all about knowing your capacity and doing simple experiments. Everything you do uses a part of your attention span and it's neither something immeasurable nor endless. If you try to put too many things into your focus, your attention span will eventually overflow and that's exactly where you start to feel overwhelmed, stressed and unproductive because you're trying to do more than you're capable of. Listen to your mind. Another thing you should know about staying focused and productive is that every day is going to look different, you're going to feel different, your schedule is going to be different, the environment time your energy is gonna be different so according to the circumstances you should be able to choose the right focus type and take a break when you need to some days you may want to get rid of easy simple tasks that you kind of feel they're using a part of your attention and then get into that big complicated task with a more empty mind in this case light focus is first the focus is second it's still how I like to plan out my day for maximum productivity or you can choose to eat that frog first thing in the morning, get it done and continue your day from there. In this case, deep focus is first, light focus is second. You know the best for yourself, whichever that scatters your mind and affects your focus, get rid of that first, it will be different each day, so listen to your mind. Put a time limit. If you're especially seeking to be more productive and want to give yourself a boost, you should try putting a time limit for each task on your list. This is also called time blocking. I already mentioned this in my time management video, which I will have linked down below. But the beautiful thing is it instantly puts you in a almost defocus mode because now you know you gotta be done. You got no time to waste. I try this out myself so I can verify its effectiveness. These were my tips for people with ADHD, for people who wants to be more focused throughout the day. I also shared my insights from the book Hyperfocus and I haven't even finished the half of it. It's full of useful tips and researches. So again, if you'd like to read it with me, the link will be down below. Next, you can check out my video on how to beat procrastination. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the future video. Bye.